Hi, it's Dr. Karen Can. Welcome to another edition of the Spiritual Medicine Digest. And guess what? All of humanity has successfully quantum jumped into our ideal reality. 99%. I know sometimes you're like, I don't think I see that, Dr. Karen. You know? <laughs> Uh, I know it can be quite incredulous, but how it works is um, based on resonant or resonant frequencies, if you will. So energetically, in a resonant kind of way, how we were going to create our new ideal future reality of peace, love, joy, harmony, and prosperity for all was we had to first quantum jump to that level of resonance, frequency, vibration, whatever you want to call it. And uh, that was a stretch, you know, for all of humanity, for sure. And we went through a lot of growing pains. And so it's sort of like, if you can imagine two realities that from the quantum, you know, there's like multiple possibilities, right? So we were kind of running on this track on this particular reality. Um, many people would say, oh, we were, you know, headlong diving into a dystopian future and all this bad stuff was happening and, you know, all these freedoms were being taken away and, you know, how horrible is this and, and that kind of thing. Here's the thing is that uh, in order for us to jump to a brand new reality where there is peace, love, joy, harmony, prosperity for all, we actually have to resonate within our own being and as a collective in that higher vibration to bring that in because it's literally like jumping from one train track to another while you're going 50,000 miles an hour. <laughs> um, maybe that's not the best analogy. But it is uh, a challenge for us as a collective to resonate at that level that we don't remember having done that before. So it takes some practice, it takes some doing, and it does take enough people. Um, it's not like necessarily the grand majority of people, like a certain percentage, like every single person's resonance is equally as effective, if you will, because some people um, resonate at much higher frequencies and literally from their frequency bring others along with them, if you will, and, and train them to a higher level of vibration and resonance. So if, you know, um, power versus force author, you know, Hawking's was correct. Uh, it, it doesn't require as many people resonating the higher frequency to neutralize the numbers of people in the lower frequency. Does that make sense? So in other words, you might need only one person resonating at Jesus consciousness um, to offset, say, 10,000 people at a lower consciousness of shame, guilt, you know, whatever it is. I'm, I'm just throwing out numbers and measure this specifically. But um, there, there is, um, you know, there is more and more people who are resonating at that higher and higher frequency. A couple of weeks back, I talked about how um, some of us are fully activating in our light bodies. And that was a little bit uncomfortable, at least temporarily. It was for me with vomiting, <laughs> migraines, that kind of thing. But, it, you know, pretty much left after uh, the next day and um, there might be little bits of little, you know, tiny symptoms, but but I'm almost there and, and you might test yourself with divine muscle testing, like how fully activated is my light body. So as of last night, I was like 99 point something. Uh, but here's the thing is that we as a collective, all of humanity, if you will, are already as a collective, resonating at the frequency of that ideal future reality that we all say we want. Now, there may be a few that don't want that, right? But but all, we all want, whether we're, you know, whatever political party we're into, whether we are pro or anti, you know, job or whatever, okay? It's like everyone wants really the same thing. <laughs> Humans, anyway. They want to experience joy, love, peace, you know, relationships, harmony, right livelihood, making a difference, uh, contributing, feeling good in their bodies, right? Like if you ask anybody who's at the op so-called opposite, you know, um, beliefs as you, at the end of the day, most humans want the same thing. So as we resonate in that frequency of already having that, uh, we pretty much bring all of the collective with us. Now, here's the interesting thing. In order for us to have quantum jumped, which we have for the most part, like 
into that new ideal reality. There is a messy period um, in between. Like I said, it's like trying to jump from one train track to another and, uh, you know, there's some practice involved, right, uh, to make that smooth. Um, there's some messiness involved, and the messiness is what we call the contrast. So the contrast is how the universe shows us what is not in resonance with what it is we say we want. So we can make choices. Yeah, so we can make choices on what we will and will not accept, will and will not tolerate, will and will not stand up to or for or whatever it is. And so even though there seems to be greater and greater division in the world, this is on the surface. Because like I said, the key is, is in deeper, we all want the same thing. And that is very powerful. So even if you're, you know, estranged from your family members or close friends, or I, I mean, I, you know, one of my friends said she lost her best friend, you know, um, over, um, you know, medical mandates and things like that. Um, it's okay. Because like I said, at the end of the day, we all want the same thing. And um, we don't necessarily need to stay worried or, you know, about our, our loved ones and, and both quote unquote sides are feeling worried for the other side. You know, one side's like, oh my gosh, you're going to die if you don't get this thing done to you. Right. And the other side's like, uh, no, I want to have freedom of choice and my body, my choice. And I'm worried about you because you're willing to give up your freedom so easily and then force everybody else to give up theirs. Right. So there's this argument going on, but we don't have to stay on that surface level. If we really tune in deeply, we all want the same thing. And what I'm here to report to you is we're there. We are there. We are resonating that ideal future reality now. We have fully quantum jumped 99% you know, into that future reality now. So what does that mean on a daily basis? Okay, there's still going to be some cleanup that's required. And that may or may not involve you personally. But just know that you'll some, see some straggling stragglers, you know, and, and things in the news um, if you even watch the news. But there will be um, announcements, synchronicities, that kind of thing that you will know that things are being cleaned up. Um, there are certain people who have felt called to take action in a very physical, tangible way that could be suing, that could be, you know, um, rallying, that could be different things. That doesn't mean that you necessarily have to do those things unless you feel uh, galvanized and you feel good about it in your body about doing those things. And it can give people a lot of energy to feel in solidarity and connection with each other because as humans, connection is super, super important. So no matter what you see that's going on in the news, stay firm and uh, anchor in that new reality. Uh, if you so desire to do that, of course, it's like free choice, right? Uh, but that's what I would recommend is, is to be in that space. So it doesn't matter if you get slightly off base when you, you know, learn about new things you didn't know about. Um, some people have gotten past that stage where they're not surprised anymore. So when they do find something that is incredibly like almost hard to believe, um, they're not reacting to it. That's the ideal. But it does take um, some you know, um, evolution to be able to go, wow, I've been living in this wonderland for quite some time. And now, you know, I'm getting red pilled <laughs> by all these people or, 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 or these organizations or learning about stuff that I had no idea was going on in the background. But this is all part of that transparency uh, that the world is going to, according to, um, uh, Penny Pierce, author of the book Transparency, where things are coming to light, where things are being revealed, um, where it's so obvious that you you can't, you know, I mean, you really would have to stick your head in the sand <laughs> to not notice these things. And there are people doing that. And that's OK. Right. Just love them. Right. Um, and even if that's you, just love yourself <laughs> when you do that, because I've done that, too. And um, I'd be like, well, you know, I probably this is years ago. I was like, well, I probably shouldn't be using Teflon. Yeah, I heard it's bad. But you know what? I'm not going to actually research exactly why it's bad. I know it's bad at high temperatures. So I'm going to cook everything at low for now because at that time, I really didn't have 
or didn't choose to spend the money that I had on a brand new cookware set because I had other things that were better, you know, bigger priorities at that time. And yeah, could I auto transmute those negative things for sure. But you know, that that's just an example of how I chose to do something that's probably not you know, the healthiest choice at that time, but I was making a conscious choice. I said, look, we're gonna do that. We are gonna change all of our pots, you know, and pans to better quality. Um, and now, right now, is not the right timing to do that. So we're gonna pray, we're gonna bless the food, we're gonna, you know, be so grateful for what we already have, right? And then when we're ready, then, you know, we change all our pots and pans and all, you know, all that kind of stuff. So that's just an example of, you know, somebody who is um, understanding that there may be some things that are not perfect in our lives and the, you know, the perfectionists among us, me a recovering perfectionist, have a really hard time with that. It's like we don't even want to know because once we know, we feel like we have to like, you know, do 180 and, and, and be perfect by tomorrow and that is not realistic. So be easy on yourself, be loving of yourself, Realizing if you're having a reaction, if you're finding something else out from a friend or the news or the media or whatever it is that freaks you out, you know, just realize, oh, I'm having one of those reactions Dr. Karen's talking about. Let me go back into stoem or let, you know, stillness through observing tonal movement uh, or meditation or something like that to anchor back into that joy, peace, love, harmony. Because the cool thing is we're already quantum jumped there. So you just have to remember. So to make that easier, I do want to do a Topican healing uh, method, um, you know, healing for you today. Uh, before I do that, I did want to just let you know a couple of announcements. Number one is uh, Claude Anshin Thomas, a Vietnam vet uh, who is a fully ordained Buddhist monk um, teaching and um, you know, doing amazing work uh, in multiple countries is going to be joining me Monday on Light War Radio. We're going to talk about meditation and really making it a living meditation. Like how do we use meditation as a tool to really enjoy our lives and be peaceful, you know, as much as possible. And he's gone through quite a bit, as you can imagine, as a Vietnam vet. He's going to talk about his struggles and what he's gone through and um, how um, what he's learned has really, really transformed his life. And so I hope you join me Monday at 12 noon Eastern for that interview, which is, uh, I think is going to be amazing. So the second announcement is that if you have not already uh, joined and opted in to the UWealth Revolution Telesummit, it is now in full swing. Uh, I'll put the link near this video. As, as as well as the um, the radio show link here. Um, so you can sign up for that. And once you sign up for that, you get access to all the talks on the Summit for free. And then mine with Darius is going to be Monday, October 25th. And I'm going to be talking about the five healing types. A lot of people ask me more details about this. So we're going to be doing some mini readings and healings. And uh, we'll re reveal a little bit more later um, the content of that. But just so you know, we're going to be deep diving into the five healing types during that interview. So block off that time, 4 to 6 p.m. on Monday, October 25th Eastern uh, for that interview. And I hope you join us live uh, on there. So uh, the last announcement for today is that the Ascension 3 Jewelry Store is going to be reopening at the end of September. Um, so... Uh, last week of September, I think we're going to do it like on a Monday or something like that. Um, we're still, you know, figuring out logistics because it's the first time that my team personally did the fulfillment. And we had so many orders last month, we couldn't get them all fulfilled uh, the following week, which was what the attention intention was. But, you know, we're, we're improving the processes and things like that. Um you know, people have been very, very interested in getting some of the meditation pyramids, organized meditation pyramids. And so I did invest in, um, you know, uh, thousands of dollars, um, you know, for these. Uh, as of this recording, we have not received them yet. I believe they're at customs or something like that. And I'm trying to communicate with the people like, what do I need to pay customs? Like what it is, you know, so Anyway, so uh, let's just, <laughs> if you want a pyramid, uh, please see it in your mind that you have it in your hand. You know, that might really help us get those pyramids to you. Um, and if not this launch, it'll definitely be here uh, by October's launch. Uh, we also have some really cool um, new uh, bracelets. We have uh, double stranded mermaid bracelets, which are gorgeous, um, handmade by a beautiful gal here in America called Olivia. And um, 
we uh, also have some other um, you know, surprises for you, some new stuff. Uh, we did find some more crystals of other things uh, and, and we're constantly testing things out. For example, I have these um, Swarovski cube uh, crystal earrings here and I'm just testing them out to see if this manufacturer does a good job. Um, this is sterling silver, so I have not had a reaction, a metal reaction to it. I've been sleeping in it um, just to make sure that the, the stone doesn't fall off. You know, so it takes a little bit of time, you know, for sometimes us to test things. Um, for example, we have, um, I have this um, chakra bracelet here that has um, lava stones that you could, if you like essential oils, you can put it on. It's very pretty um, and it's going to be a, a lesser expensive option. So again, I'm testing it. Um, wearing it around, you know, wearing it while I'm exercising and sleeping and things like that. And of course, you know, one could repair those things fairly easily, but just especially the earrings we wanted to test it. So if you are like, oh my gosh, I need to know when you guys are open, you know, please join that mailing list, ascension3.net, because those folks on that specific mailing list get alerted first uh, when we open, what's available, blah, 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 etc. And then everybody else later. We had so many orders coming in last month it was probably double what we were expecting um and uh so we we didn't get that second newsletter out to everybody else till like way later uh you know so yeah by that time people are like oh you know you ran out of this or that and i'm like oh that happens so the best thing is to you know mark your calendar for you know september 27th you know and get on that ascension3.net mailing list and if you didn't have a chance to look at all the ascension 3 21 day challenge um i'm going to include the playlist near this video so you can go and just check out that mini course on how to use your Ascension 3 um, to a high, a high level based on what it is you want. And a lot of people are having so much fun um, using it as a self-healing uh, tool and kind of like your self-healing buddy uh, that you have with you. And um, yeah, we'll, 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 over the time, we'll, we'll be doing different things. Um, in the future, uh, we'll have a, we're, Going to be testing out a few things so um we have yoga mats it's going to be high end uh, but recycled yoga mats um from my naturopathic friend that i bought from her we're going to be try trialing those um we also will have some eye pillows or and or eye masks uh that are going to be infused because as people like to lie down to to meditate or even to sleep they like to have that energy there so we're looking into how to make those um yeah, so there's a lot of things that we're experimenting with. So um, uh, we, you know, we hope you enjoy all of it. So that's the announcements for this week. Let's go ahead and do our Topican healing right now. So if you'd like to receive, you can just go ahead and make that internal intention. Yes, I wish to receive the healing. I'm going to do what's called a Topican healing directive. And this is to help you and your resonance to be in that state of being, which is ideal for you and resonating in that ideal future reality of joy, peace, love, prosperity, and harmony for all. So what I'd like you to do is go ahead and if you'd like to, you can close your eyes. You don't have to, but you can close your eyes. Feel the body right now. So pay attention to your body. How does it feel? If you know the stoem technique, you can do that right now. So uh, focus on inside of your body, feel any energy moving, and just follow the flow of that energy. I'll go ahead and do the directives now. So I now command that whatever can heal right now safely, that's preventing you from fully resonating at your own personal golden thread, your own source wisdom, your own full resonance of who you really are, be healed and resolved in the highest and best way. That any blocks, motions, seed emotions, it can be transmuted, healed, removed, dissolved, whatever to the highest and greatest good in all timelines where you exist. Be healed now with ease, feeding grace. It's now commanded that you have whatever help and support and synchronicities you need to fully anchor in that brand new ideal reality for you and all your loved ones. That your light radius be expanded whatever level is ideal for you and you get the support to continue expanding your light radius so we can all anchor in that beautiful ideal reality that we are now quantum jump to and that the cleanup <laughs> is quick easy 
graceful, and peaceful. Now command this healing be integrated and ground the these being grace in the highest and best way for this and all the blessings we will thank some gratitude. So be it. So you can open your eyes if you had your eyes closed. Go ahead and type in the comments what that felt like in your body um, receiving that. And uh, I look forward to connecting with you next time on the Spiritual Medicine Digest or connecting on the radio show uh, or anywhere else. Um, Facebook, MeWe, Telegram, iAwesome. Uh, would love to see you there. Until next time, lots of love and bye for now.